Wow, that's a uh, first of all nice views of the surrounding mountains an industrial landscape and we have a an old miners cabin a miners building was this not a a building for all right and that's that is a cool way in I have to say wow wow you can feel the heat today it's warm yeah there's a blast of uh whoa man wow even my glasses are steaming up my glasses are steaming up Bit of water, but go straight into dry level. Right, I see. Whoa! There's the other chains. Holy moly. Well, they're using to climb the face, and that. Yeah, this is where you absolutely can absolutely die. So, right? there's got to be a a good 40 meter drop at there's least. A level right down there. 120 right foot. Down there, look, about the bottom of those chains. <clears throat> so, how does there's anyone that you know of get down here? Right? This is my life, this is the anchor point I used. Oh, so you've been down here? Yeah. And which way you come back out? Same way? Yeah, unless you swim across with like a chain of below though. Is it, uh, obviously, yeah, you need your charter here, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just step onto there and just down there. It's not too bad, and to be honest, I tell you what, I would, I would trust this 100%. Yeah. I, I did that next door. Well. I trust that more than a modern uh, anchor. Well, you know, the ones that go in like four centimeters in the rock. Because that goes a long way in. Right? So that's back to the entrance. And we're going straight ahead. Oh, it's very. Quite dark this uh, slate to the top. So level on the right. Does that go? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that full, full spotlight you got? Yeah. I think all I've had so on here as well, but it's loaded in the bottom. That's one uh, hell of a chamber. Hey! Hey, cool! He's a monster, this. Yeah, I used that peg there to absolutely. Yeah. And then again. And then again, that is. That's been there for years, but it's solid. You know, I would, I would trust it as well. Well, that one there, I used. Look, that one there, I used as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Deck boxes in there. Detonator cord boxes. Is that what they call the detonator cord? Yeah, this is all. This is my top part. It's just two little chambers like this. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know where that goes, I never even seen that before, to be honest. Let's have a look. I doubt it goes anywhere. So we found a way that Grace apparently hasn't been in. So let's go. Ooh. Well, Tony, I'm coming here again in a couple of days. Look, this is the other part as well, Tony. Get abseil past the other flooded part as well. I would. Oh, wow. Pointed down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a bypass for flooded parts of the mine, look. Yeah. I didn't even know this was here. I've been in the loads. Well, that's nothing wrong with that. You know. You could even even you could you could trust that yeah. even on its own, the old pack. So you save on this rope. Oh yeah. It's easy done, you know. I've been in here about four or five times. Easy done that. because you get focused on the main drive. And then that is, you bypass, you'll see it below, like it bypasses the flooded tunnel, the flooded chamber below, and then there's like another four chambers you can access then because of it. Wow, oh, I've been in this mine, I don't know how many times. I didn't even notice this tunnel before. Awesome. So Chris, in the hole we go. Oh. Hey. Look at this stuff, then. Would it be nice to see it with the original doorway? Was it wooden one? I guess, like a wooden door to the portal. It will stop the drafting a bit. Yeah, uh, I had an argument with the missus once, yeah, Tom. You what? I had an argument with the missus once, yeah. Do you want this on video? And I stormed out the house, yeah. And I ended up staying up here. <laughs> and I made a bad deal, look on the bloody... That's probably... I ended up sleeping here on the country, little chickens. That's yeah. probably the best uh, case scenario for uh, an argument yeah. with the missus, ending up in a mine. Yeah. <laughs> I did end up in a in a I, I did end up in a hut below where it started raining and the roof was leaking. You didn't spend yeah. the one night here though, did you? Yeah, it's all about seven, eight in the morning. <laughs> but it was freezing. I, I bet it was. I woke up freezing because I didn't have no sleeping bag anything. We used like a couple of jackets. And I went back with my tail between my legs. I morning. bet. I bet you did. So, Let me in. I'm cold. Yeah. Right, this tunnel just uh, goes a fair bit. Yeah, we need to go the way we see the abseil. Yeah. So we go over there. So where we were shining the torch down on the lower levels, the lower flooded levels, yeah, we, we come into it, the bottom yeah. of it, are we? We won't see it because... Basically. That's probably falling off a wagon, look. And yeah, it must be. And these as well can look like them. Big slabs. They're too big to put back on, look, because they didn't have any cranes in the tunnels, did they? Yeah, of course. So they couldn't lift Anything them Anything that tips over the minecart, they can't lift it here, so the lesser is. They probably just uh, started uh, putting a lot less tonnage on the carts. Yeah, there's a fluid incline here, yeah? I know somebody who's actually dived in, you know. Someone's dived in yeah. the flooded incline here. Yeah. At the bottom of it, you've got like a timber hut. It looks amazing. Wow. You're like a timber hut made out of log. You're like a log cabin. Like a timber hut? Yeah, it's the... like, it looks like a log cabin. So, it at the bottom, have they got any video of it? Or? Yeah, it's got a video of it. I'll send you the link. If you send me the link, 
of this video of the flooded incline by the diver, we're going to put it in the video description so everyone can see it. Oh, wow. They're perfect condition. They're in good state. They're in very good condition. You can wear those now, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is either a compressor. Change. I would actually like a a pair of minus hobnail boots like this. Yeah, chain's hanging as well from the ceiling. Oh yeah. So is that either a compressor? You know, there was a compressor sat incline? here, was there? I think you can tell. The incline, right? Oh, so that's the incline, yeah, and that's where they got the video. Yeah. The divers. Down here. And then at the bottom, the log, the log cabin is amazing. Like proper preserved, brilliantly. Wow, it's a nice easy base for any diver to be honest, is it? Rope and cable. Oh, I know. Kind of cables hanging down then. They must have had a functional purpose of sorts that we don't don't know about. Has anyone been up there? No, I've been up one next door. One next door is worth going up here. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's loads of um, timber catwalk. Timber catwalk sounds yeah, good. So we're we'll definitely going to get that on video as well. So we got the remains of a ladder there as well. And the remains of a timber hut. There was right there on this concrete slab, concrete base, and there was an engine, was there, you say? The winding engine yeah, for the incline, the winding gear for the incline, because we are right next, basically, to the incline. It's, this timber hole is totally been destroyed, and uh, you can see where the engine with uh, the winding drone would have been sat here, working the incline right in front of us there. Pulling carts up, the incline loaded with uh, stone. There's a lot of off. Yeah. Oh yeah, like uh, half a saw. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow, I tell you all, that's, uh, it's cool though, it's very clear, let's... You can get up there, you can get up there, look. Uh -huh. um, that's where the timber cap Oh, light it up, we're going to, going to be a good photo here. But we can get to these tunnels. We can can we? Yeah. Yeah, the other side of them, yeah. Right, are we coming back this way, yeah? We'll do the photos on the way out then. Like, shall we leave the back here? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to take a photo only here, unless I'm taking photos yeah. further in, yeah. Oh. Timber cat walks at the top, looks so it's worth going up that s slope to see them look. Yeah. And there is a path, it looks a bit steep, but there is a sort of path. So we're gonna go up that path to check some old miners timber walks, which is not something you see in every mine, do you Chris? No. Very unique. Yeah. Oh, 
Wow. That is big, man. Look at that. That is huge. Yeah? An old kettle. Half a kettle, not as intact as the other one. Hold this boulder up. They didn't want it falling on the track. Look, so they, oh, wow. We've had to hold oh. it up to stop it falling. So, yeah, they did because they actually put a bolt right if, through there. If this would have fallen on the track, they wouldn't be able to hold, put the track through there. Yeah, of course. So. And the chain literally is holding the this big giant slab from rolling away basically that is not something you see in every mine wow. I hey hang on I'm coming what's that Vernon Williams 18 something it says can't just make out. Oh no, th oh no, 13 Dorville, it is a dress. <laughs> wow. That'd be cool for a photo, but I don't know. Might be difficult. So, what do you think happened here? This, this was a tram, a tram road, obviously. And this folder must have fallen off the top of the roof. Yeah. And they were thinking the only way they could you know, stop it from possibly collapsing and blocking the roadway was chaining it up like that. Which is pretty amazing. Wow. Just collapse. Full collapse here. I think. And uh, it goes over there. Oh wow, let's do that again. This bloody chain below, because there's a tunnel in that corner there. Yeah. Where that rope goes. So you can either have to use a dinghy or your abseil from the top. Uh -huh. And you can carry on then, but mine carries on, there's like another couple of two or three chains. Right? It's stunning. But in that part, there's all the good artifacts, look, because it's untouched, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit too deep to get across. Yeah, light it up, full light, yeah. So, and, and we were across there, we were on the other yeah, side we looking at there. this. On the other side. Uh, we go up to see those timber walk. Yeah, so we're gonna climb up that uh, steep slope and see some uh, wooden timbers. No wooden steps. Uh, yeah, catwalks. Yeah, catwalks. Oh, the old catwalks. So where they were working along, walking yeah, along, face, on, uh, uh, the, the working face. The right. Okay.
I made it. Oh wow. There's like an alien eyelid there, look, you use that chain to get onto that cat <coughs> Let's get onto the next one. Oh wow. And then, oh look, and then you see all the chains in the top, like how you like cows to those kind of chains. Like Put just a bit more light on if you would. And here, that is a pin, the slate that is like when there's a fracture, isn't it? Look. That bit down here. So right, more light. So these are kind of a series of uh, walkways yeah, for the miners. Walk, Basically, they were about walked along. I can see, look, yeah. the timber yeah. is diagonal, but they fill it with the, uh, you know, bits of slate to actually, yeah, create a walkway. And this would have yeah, gone on a zigzag, possibly, obviously interlinked interlink with chains really to so there you are that's it i mean this is yeah this is still safe oh we all look up the chains then yeah yeah and up on the right one there you see how you put those pegs in for this book I am a bit heavier than you, yeah. As we just proved, um, we are walking on a minus walkway and still standing. Oh, God. Look, you see, they put that little peg in to put a foot on it and yeah. then to grab all those chains to go up. I mean, it's probably still safe, this chain. Yeah, I was thinking of going up it myself now. Yeah, I was actually thinking about oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You get the footholds. Yeah, there's a foothold and then you put another foot onto that, right? And there's a level up there anyway. Right, go on, I'm going to go for it. Shall we? I don't want to be putting my foot on that, to be honest. I think uh, if you're going to put your foot, it's got to be on, grab hold of the, what's that like? Right, I just don't trust these rock. No, let's either. not do it. Yeah, come back down. This is uh, dodgy. Just the chain, like the chain solid. Wow, there's loads of chains up there. And there's a level carries on that way, look. Oh. But this one, you can feel the rocks tumbling. Yeah. I would not have to put my foot on a peg. That will hold it. So we gave up on the idea of going up that ledge because you kind of have to trust too much things that have not been tested for 100 years. Yeah, if you had a harness, <laughs> you could just hook a cow's tail into the metal spikes. With yeah. a harness would be all right. Yeah, you just clip yourself into the metal spikes, so if you did, anything did collapse, you'd be still on, on the pegs, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah best be safe. Like, there is a little man where it goes in and maybe 10 meters, like, but it goes to like a dead end. Lucky my battery on my big torch is just dying now. We've got plenty of light. You're getting cold now. Standing still. So this was this was the last uh, photo shoot we've taken. Uh, Chris standing across the tunnel there, and I'd sort of lit the lit the water, the under you know the. All the all the slabs of slate and this beautiful slate wall as well, and it's come out an amazing picture. So guys, please check it out on Instagram, uh, Underground Explorer UK. Well, thanks for the talk, Chris. It's always uh, it's always an easy explore. When you go with someone that knows the place, I find it. So we're making our way out and uh, 
like uh, six six hours gone flying, has it? We've got a lot of these holes in our boots, like. <laughs> Steve. Is this 1860? Look. 1860, yeah, yeah, you can just see that very, very faintly, but yeah, it's 1860. Is this a jam jar? Um, I don't know what it is. Um, it's, it's, I think it's, it's a Maling Newcastle, it says. It's, uh, it was warm coming in and now it's cold going out. Anyway, Chris, thanks thanks for the tour, it's always a pleasure. And uh, yeah, be sure you subscribe to Chris's channel. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the link in the video description and to my channel as well. So you can stay tuned for future adventures. Uh, Chris done the same video today, but on your phone, which gives a kind of different perspective altogether. Yeah. And um, with phone, you when it comes to artifacts, things that close up, you you get yeah, you get yeah. a lot more detail. I have to say that the quality is better with the GoPro. You kind of maybe get more panoramic, all-round um, optics. But yeah, the phone is a lot better for close up definitely I mean ideally I'd be you know doing using the phone for close ups and the GoPro for like more like tunnels and you know yeah, obviously it, it, a, bit of both, uh, a bit of both yeah it's a, it'd be ideal but it sometimes is not always practical to do it like that but anyway enough talking now we're going out to the cold yeah, night no, it's dark out there, I'm sure. Well, it's the last one, the last Hey? After this, we'll be able to see. Yeah. Oh, just a bit, just a bit of daylight. 